Hello, this is Pastor Rick, and I want to welcome you to the Sunday Forum for this Sunday, March the 10th. Our topic is a marvelous one. 2024, a banner year for Emmanuel's Seminary. Yeah, we're going to talk about Emmanuel Academy. We've gotten off to a big start the first two months of this year, 2024. In January, as you know, we traveled to Rwanda, and there we saw our first two MDiv graduates. That's a big deal and was a big celebration here at Emmanuel and in the Lutheran Church of Rwanda. But now in February, we've seen four of our Floridian students move on, make big steps in the ELCA process. We have three who passed their endorsements. We're going to hear from our own Beatrice D'Angelo here at Emmanuel, and we had another student who was accepted into the MDiv program within the ELCA. Again, a banner year already begun quite strongly in January and February, and so first I'd like to ask Howard Isaacson of Emmanuel Academies to come and join me and talk about our trip to Rwanda. Howard, please come. Okay, Howard, thanks for joining me here on the Sunday Forum. It is great to be here with you, Rick. Thank you for having me. You know, in January, we made that trip together to the Lutheran Church of Rwanda. Uh, we came back, and it was a great trip, other than you got COVID. Uh, but now we've had a few weeks to think about it. Now, what's been your response and reaction to what was achieved in Rwanda? So, it was absolutely amazing. We had our first two graduations from our Master of Divinity program while we were there. Uh, so that brings Pastor Edward, who started about four and a half years ago, yeah. out of the program, and he's now applying actually to uh, for a PhD program through Emanuel Academies. And Pastor Ruhinda graduated as well. It was absolutely wonderful to experience. These were great events and celebrations, and so we want to show you a short clip from the graduation ceremony here in January in Rwanda. Let's watch that clip right now. Receive this hood and you can take it home. <laughs> Howard, just seeing those clips again uh, just brings back, I think for both of us, a lot of feelings. Um, but now reactions to just the whole event and what it means, not just for us here at Emmanuel Academies, but for the Lutheran Church of Rwanda. So those two graduations were the start of something really big. In January 2025, we were expecting to have at least eight if not 10 graduations in Rwanda, including our first Doctor of Ministry student, Bishop Mugabo, the national right. Right. bishop in Rwanda for the Lutheran Church. When you think about it, uh, years ago when Frank Lee and Jean made that uh, visit in Rwanda, made some promises, 
we followed up, made some trips along with Pastor Steve. We made some promises. Pretty exciting to see those promises fulfilled for the first time in January. It, it really was. And, and when we hearken back to when we first went to Rwanda, we were in the company of the ELCA leadership, Global Mission. We're also in the company of the Lutheran World Federation. Bishop Mugabo asked each of those organizations for assistance and support in moving his pastors forward to have a global Master of Divinity education. Emmanuel Academies, with our, the generous support of Emmanuel Lutheran Church's members, made that a reality. So it's a lot to celebrate here. Thank you again for your leadership role, Howard. We now want to turn to our students here in the United States, particularly in Florida, mm. and even more specifically, Bibi D'Angelo, who's here at Emmanuel. Again, thank you, Howard. And now You're we welcome. want to bring on uh, Beatrice to talk about what's happened to her in February. Thanks. You're welcome. So Beatrice, welcome to the Sunday Forum. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Pastor Rick, for having me. We were just saying that we have had a banner year already the first two months. In January, we're in Rwanda, we saw our first two MDiv graduates, but now in February, we've seen some of our Floridian students make some real progress with the ELCA process of endorsement. Explain the experience that you've just been through this of this last February with the endorsement process. Uh, yes, Pastor Rick, the experience of the endorsement process was truly a pivotal moment. Mm. And it is a moment that everything that I have worked toward with the support of everyone here at Emmanuel and um, my Emmanuel Academy's uh, family as well, has uh, culminated into that moment. It was a strenuous moment. Mm -hmm. It was extremely challenging and difficult. However, I saw amazing things happen. Who was in the room uh, to interview you? It was the bishop, his staff, and the uh, people in the panel of the candidacy committee along with uh, two faculty from Southern Seminary, yes. and I was invited as well as a member of Emmanuel Academies. It was an important interview. You had to write essays. You did all this preparation. But what does endorsement mean? Because uh, our people, Emmanuel, many people don't understand the process of the ELCA. Endorsement's a big deal. What does it mean? Yes, endorsement uh, basically means that I have a stamp of approval. Uh, at the ELCA and in me receiving that stamp, everyone here at Emmanuel, at Emmanuel Academies, uh, receives that stamp of approval as well. Which means now that Beatrice can officially, officially begin her internship here at Emmanuel, started on March the 1st, yes. it's blessed then by the Synod. So it's a big movement forward. And Beatrice, just to put this in perspective, she's part of, we're gonna show our students all over the world, but especially we're focusing on Florida and we hope Beatrice will be the first Floridian and one of the first in the United States who then finally graduates with an MDiv degree, hopefully, early next year. So thanks again for the experience, for joining us at Emmanuel now as an intern. It's been a banner year for Emmanuel. Big events in January, Rwanda, big events in February here in Florida. We're going to hear all about it on the Sunday Forum right after the service at 1015 on Sunday. Join Howard Isaacson and Beatrice D'Angelo for the conversation. And thanks for joining us on the Sunday Forum. Yes, we look forward to it. Thank you, Pastor Rick. Bye-bye now.